Hello everybody and this is episode 2 of Matthew's Travel Journal That light's sort of annoying I'll just move a little bit closer to you And today's episode is Las Vegas This is Rose Boss, we just got back from Las Vegas So she'll be joining us for this amazing episode Don't bump the table or, or it'll jiggle So We've got a bit of a itinerary and we're starting with getting there so we're thinking most of our viewers will be from new zealand because that's where we from we are from and we came with in new zealand and we actually flew in the sky couch which for those that don't know what the sky couch is it's where you buy three economy seats and then at night time you can make it into a big bed and sleep on it it's really affordable and really cool and it was and surprisingly comfortable actually yeah. I mean, we've flown both business class and economy before and the only thing you really need to get you through the flight is just to be able to stretch your legs which we could do yeah it was nice so, no, yeah, it was, it was good. really lovely then though when we were flying from LA to Vegas Rose was in the wrong time zone needed to do beauty sleep and turn off our alarms and we missed our plane so first travel tip is if you ever enter a new time zone or you've been drinking or you don't trust yourself, you're not good in the mornings, get the hotel to give you a wake up call. There is no need for you to miss your flight like we did. So starting with accommodation, when we arrived to Las Vegas, we stayed in the Bellagio and that was sort of about 100 and 70 US dollars a night, I think something might have been 150. So relatively expensive I, I don't know what your standards are but affordable for such a nice hotel though. yes yeah i agree um we also visited um the win and the encore which is where i stayed last time super luxurious rose is absolutely in love with it and wants to stay there next time so that's sort of um 220 a night or something like that i think it all fluctuates but you can literally go one street off the strip and you can get a really nice hotel room in vegas for like 35 bucks a night um so vegas caters to absolutely everything and from the photos i saw i haven't stayed in one but from the photos i saw the 35 dollar a night hotel room looks pretty bloody good and then you can just go to the super nice hotels for gambling and dinners and stuff anyway so i don't think accommodation should be a problem when you go there um activities we had so many cool activities um do you want to start with one? Um, oh. Fremont Street's pretty cool. Great nightlife. You don't actually have to spend any money to have a good time. Drinks are cheap. And there's just so much going Girls on around Girls dancing on you. tables. Heaps yeah. of dust, bus, buskers, buskers, which was cool. Um, what else? The So Fremont Street, absolute must. We went to a gun range. Um, I think there's heaps of them. We went to Battlefield. Super cool. So we spent about $150 a person and we both shot with about three or four guns, but super cool, real friendly staff. They picked us up from our hotel room, dropped us back to our hotel room. Um, it was really fun, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think um, the packages we picked, I probably wouldn't do that again. I would actually go there, get the big list of guns and just point at the ones and make your own package. Um, I think we shot with guns just because they were on the package where it would have been cooler to pick our own menu um, and actually just on that note of travel um, I don't think you need a rental car when you're in Vegas like all the cool places offer pick up and drop off Uber's super easy and super cheap mm. um, I, we never the felt... main strip the traffic's so bad you wouldn't yeah. want to drive anyway and if you're staying right in the center of town everything you want is just like a 15 20 minute walk away if that yeah so other activities we did the night helicopter flight over las vegas what it was it? beautiful yeah 10 out of super 10. beautiful you should absolutely do it. i think that's one of the top things on tripadvisor um we didn't race exotic cars um but all of my friends that have done that said it's amazing so if you like exotic cars you can go to racetracks i think they'll offer pick up and drop off as well and race like lamborghinis and ferraris around racetracks so if you're into that that's cool i don't like cars but i imagine that's cool um and then also grand canyon now we did we ran out of time to do grand canyon um but choppering around the grand canyon there's also like a um 
a boat trip you can do down the, I think it's the Colorado River. We're not American, sorry, but it's beautiful. Um, and the Hoover Dam, amazing. Like I love construction. So I'm just walking around like, oh my God, this is so cool. So all of those are really awesome. You want to talk about shopping? Um, yes, I was actually just going to say that. Thank you. Um, the Venetian was so cool. Even if you're not planning on buying anything because the shops there can be a bit pricey. It's just such a cool experience walking through the mall. Um, so it's all designed to look like Venice, essentially. And it's got an artificial ceiling with clouds painted on it. It's just so stunning. Yeah. And also Vegas can be anything you want. You can buy a $6,000 dress or you can go to an outlet store and buy a $2 dress. Like it'll cater for everything. So you can do whatever makes you happy. But we love the shopping there. Um, I got some cool stuff. Rose got some cool stuff. The absent show, we haven't mentioned that. Oh, mention that shows are amazing. We um, So we went to a show called Absinthe. Uh, the shows all have lifespans, so by the time you go there, there won't, there, there'll be different shows. Um, but there's heaps of websites you can go on. Um, we bought our tickets from Vegas Insider. Um, I think there's lots of different ones. So you can go on these websites and just see what the top rated shows are but amazing um that's one thing i wish i did more um last time i was in vegas i went to a michael jackson show equally as amazing um what i liked about the absence show and i think i would recommend it it was like a mixture of acrobatics comedy and i don't know just general interaction dancing, with the crowd. dancing yeah. yeah it was cool very very cool um for me who's like not super passionate about that arts and crafts genre it was nice just to have a, a, a bit of everything if it was like all comedy i might not have enjoyed it and if it was all acrobatics i might not have enjoyed it but i just love the mix it and it was broken up quite nicely mm. so that was super cool make sure you go to the show they have some of the best performers in the entire world um which is so cool do you want to say anything else about activities before i wrap it up um no i think that's it um well it's not there's trillions more but that's it to keep you guys focused and loving this video. Rose, do you have a tip? Hit them. Um, this doesn't really relate to Vegas because the sanitation is really good, but I guess it can apply to anywhere really. Um, when you're traveling, always bring probiotics. We always, always take probiotics because it's your first line of defense. Um, Especially when you but, travel to like Asia and stuff, because your body's used to your environment back home. So like when you go to, I'm not a doctor and I'm not sure if this is right, but when you go to like another place, like even from New Zealand to America, it's like different cold, different germs. So it's good to like have that, um, those probiotics keeping your immunity. Immune yeah. at work, yeah. Rocking. Um, hold on, we just got stuff. Cool. Right. And... In summary, Vegas is 10 out of 10, amazing, love it to bits, want to go back there every year. Um, would you guys say anything? Vegas is cool. Vegas <laughs> is cool. Go to Las Vegas. Well, I hope you enjoyed that, guys, and get traveling, have an awesome life, and we'll see you in the next video.